Welcome to the Mama Bear Den. Remember your headphones. Oh, good. I see you're finally starting to wake up. I was wondering when you were going to open those eyes of yours. Let me just take a few steps closer to you. Ah, much better. Now, my dear, you're in an interesting situation here. Oh, pardon me. I nearly forgot to introduce myself. You may call me Mikota. I would say it's a pleasure to meet you, but these are unusual circumstances. Now, do you wish to know your situation, or do you wish to remain in the dark? I highly suggest you go with the first option. Wonderful. I had a feeling you would want to know what's going on here. All right. I'll fill you in on the details. However, I do promise you that you're not going to like what I have to tell you. Before I go on any further, are you absolutely certain you want to know this information? <laughs> Very well then, don't say I didn't warn you. Listen up, okay? I'm not going to tell you this a second time. Are you using your ears today? Good. I swear, if you prove to have stone ears, then this is going to be more difficult for not only you, but me as well. Do you have a proper understanding? Good, good. It's pleasing to hear that you know when to submit against a greater being than yourself. So, you're here for one reason, and one reason alone. You're the heir to the Ashen Empire. I had to catch you when I had the chance on the last hunt I went on. You were out there in the fields, just having a leisurely stroll. Sure, you had your retainer with you, but they couldn't save you from being taken away by me. <laughs> oh, you don't need to fear me. I would never bring harm to such a precious treasure. Indeed, you are a treasure that I must protect at all costs. Anyway, ignore that. I can tell that you are still a little confused. That's to be understood. <laughs> You're not in an ordinary situation here, after all. You wish to know the rest of what this entails? Well, sweetheart, I can promise you that you might hate me by the end of this. I already told you the beginning. Are you sure you wish to hear the rest? Very well then, but don't say I didn't warn you. I captured you for a reason. Where are you now? <laughs> You're here in my lair, high up above the ground. Oh, you want to try to leave? 
<laughs> oh no. If you tried, then you would fall a great height to end up splattered on the rocks at the bottom of the cliffside. So tell me, my precious royal, do you still want to attempt to flee from me? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Very good. I'm glad to see you have some sort of common sense about you. Maybe there's some hope for you after all. We'll have to see. Why are you being held captive here? Well, that's a simple answer for such a silly question. I saw you. I wanted you. That's the short version of the story. Do you want the long version? <laughs> All right then. For now, I can see about answering what I can for you. You won't like everything I have to tell you. Why? Well, you'll have to be patient. I'll tell you everything, but this isn't something to be rushed. Hmm. I brought you here for one reason, and one reason alone. And you're absolutely certain you want to know what it is. Like I said before, it's because I want you. Now, now, think about this. A mighty, powerful dragoness like me, being attracted to someone like you. Isn't that strange? Sure, our elders would be appalled if they caught wind of it. But that's another discussion for another day. Right now, we're talking about your situation right here and right now. Ah, ah, ah. I wouldn't try to get out of my hold if I were you. I'm the only one keeping you alive here. Be glad I have use of you still. If you have proved unuseful, then I would easily get rid of you by a simple exhale of my molten flames. Oh, you don't think I'm being honest with you? <laughs> you care to test me? Is it too hot to handle? Trust me, this isn't the extent I'd need to broil you alive. I'd need little more than a couple of embers. This is merely a very small fragment of my inner roaring, raging inferno. Oh. I'm sorry, there's no need to be afraid. Here, let me do something for you. There, is that better? <laughs> That's what I thought. Don't be ungrateful. If you end up being that way, then I have other purposes for you aside from being my hostage. <laughs> it's best not to doubt me 
are my abilities. You're the caught little morsel here. I have far better uses for you than turning you into a char-roasted meal. I wouldn't do that just yet. However, it all depends upon you. So, I have you here. I'm sure you want to know what I plan to do with you next. I have you here in my wings. And you know what? Let's just wrap my tail around your waist to make sure you can't leave my grasp. There. Much better. I have you facing me too. What beautiful eyes you have, my dear. They flicker with such strong emotions. I'm going to have a fun time breaking your spirit. So you really want to start wriggling, eh? I don't think that's going to help you. I have you trapped here with my wings and my dragon tail. So, I don't see how you can even hope to escape this little entrapment anytime soon. Besides, aren't you comfortable? My wings are leathery soft. And the scales are my tail are so very smooth. They're ever so warm to the touch. It'll warm you up right away. It only takes a few seconds for you to be cozy and warm. <laughs> I don't plan on letting you go anytime soon, my precious little treasure. I will safeguard you. I will look after you. I will protect you with my very life, if I have to. I will do everything in my power to keep you here in my lair. This is your home now, whether you like it or not. <laughs> and if you try to run, if you try to hide, I will always find you. I know your scent far too well for my own good. I know your heat signature. If you even tried fleeing in my domain, I would hunt you down and pin you down to teach you exactly where you belong. Oh, are you trying to say something, dear? Well, go on, speak up. Oh my, are you sure you're going to agree to these terms? Mm, very well then. It's not like you have much of a choice anyway. Hmm. You'll tell me your name. It's about time you give me some information. Even though I already know everything about you. <laughs> what? You should know already that I have been after you. For some time. I needed to collect some intel before taking you away. So do tell, sweetheart. What can you tell me that I don't already know? Well then, 
That's surprising to hear. I suppose you might end up giving in at this rate. Mm, you should accept your fate anyway. You can't avoid it. It's inevitable for you to stay here as mine. For you to forever be here as my treasure. You see the piles of gold and jewels in my domain. All of them pale in comparison to you. Why is that? Well, that's rather simple, my dear monarch. It's because you are my greatest treasure. 